Why do men like boobs? Five studies explain the answer. The way men look at breasts can say a lot about their desire to become dads. Why do men find breasts attractive? While the general appeal of breasts isn't a huge mystery, they've been a source of sustenance for babies since the beginning of time, they also inspire occasional awe in men. So, what makes breasts attractive to men? The science behind this shows that men's fascination with breasts is more complex than just trying to keep their eyes up there. Some men might be particularly turned on by large breasts, while many others prefer those of average size. There's no right or wrong preference, but what men find attractive about breasts can reveal surprising insights into other aspects of their lives, from financial security to fatherhood. In fact, how a man responds to breasts could indicate whether he's likely to be poor, hungry, or healthy, according to research. Like breasts, studies on how men relate to them come in all shapes and sizes. Some are more robust than others. But the following information should give you something constructive to ponder as you explore the intriguing question, why do men like breasts? Most guys love average-sized boobs. Average breasts for the win. While it's commonly believed that men prefer large breasts, most men actually favor medium-sized ones. This preference aligns with women, who are the ones bearing the weight daily. Studies suggest that the majority of men are attracted to seek cup-sized breasts. However, sexual activity can influence these preferences. According to one study, men who tend to sleep around are more likely to find large breasts attractive. Being a dad changes how a man is attracted to boobs. Being attracted to larger breasts can signify various things, and one surprising aspect is a desire for fatherhood, according to research. One study found that men who wanted children but didn't have any were generally more attracted to larger breasts. Conversely, men without familial aspirations were satisfied with smaller breasts. So, dads who prefer big breasts can relax, your preference doesn't mean you're a creep or sexist. If questioned by your partner, you can explain that it's a physical manifestation of wanting the best for your future kids. We're not guaranteeing she'll buy it, but at least it might be the truth. How much money you make influences your boob preferences. If you're a guy who prefers small breasts, you might be more likely to be wealthy, according to one study. Published in the Journal of Socioeconomics, the researchers discovered that men with less financial stability tend to prefer larger breasts, while wealthier men are more attracted to smaller ones. So, relax with your riches and enjoy the company of the itty bitty titty committee. Don't look at boobs on an empty stomach. Don't worry, it's not because you have an urge to breastfeed. The aforementioned study found that breast preferences are generally linked to available resources. When men are well-fed, they're less attracted to large breasts. The study also revealed that men who prefer large breasts tend to be more sexist. Hungry and sexist. It's likely to be a long, lonely night. Looking at boobs might help you live longer. There is some evidence suggesting that staring at breasts might increase a man's longevity. Though, your partner might not accept this explanation. It's worth a shot, though. A previous, non-breast-related study found that positive thinking positively impacted long-term health choices, especially in taking blood pressure medication. While not all experts agree, some believe that looking at breasts can promote a positive mental attitude. Another German study even found that looking at breasts for 10 minutes a day can benefit a man's cardiovascular health. However, these benefits only apply if the boob gazing is consensual. Otherwise, sneaking glances could significantly shorten your lifespan, if you catch our drift. How to manage conflicts in relationships, as per science. Managing conflicts in relationships, no matter how strong, can be challenging. Just as people have unique ways of expressing love, they also have different approaches to handling disagreements. To help with this, we've compiled five science-backed methods for effectively managing conflicts in relationships. These strategies are designed to promote understanding, empathy, and constructive communication, ultimately fostering stronger connections between partners. 1. Applying the 24-hour rule. The 24-hour rule is an effective strategy where partners intentionally delay discussing highly contentious issues until they have calmed down emotionally. This rule allows them time to reflect and process their feelings before engaging in discussions. Following this rule can prevent conflicts from escalating and becoming more intense. Research has shown that taking this time leads to more productive, meaningful, and beneficial conversations with improved outcomes. 
It allows both partners to approach the issue with a clearer mindset and better understanding, reducing emotional intensity. Ultimately, this approach contributes to a healthier and happier relationship. 2. Creating a safe word. Creating a personalized safe word or signal with your partner can be highly effective for managing conflicts. It provides a clear and respectful way to communicate when either partner feels overwhelmed or needs a break from the discussion. This allows both individuals to pause, take a moment to breathe, and then return to the conversation with a calmer and clearer perspective. Embracing this approach can enhance mutual respect and understanding in the relationship by acknowledging and validating each other's emotional needs during challenging moments. 3. Engaging in physical touch. Studies have suggested that incorporating simple nonverbal communication, such as physical touch during conflicts, can greatly foster feelings of safety, comfort, and connection. Gentle touches or hugs promote the release of oxytocin, known as the bonding hormone. This hormone plays a crucial role in reducing stress levels and enhancing emotional closeness, even during disagreements and arguments. It signals reassurance and instantly reduces tension. This act of closeness communicates empathy and understanding, reminding both individuals that they are valued and cared for, regardless of the conflicts at hand. 4. Using visual aids and writing letters. Using simple visual aids and writing letters is an unconventional but effective method for enhancing understanding and clarity during conflicts and difficult conversations, especially when dealing with complex issues. Research shows that visually representing thoughts and perspectives through charts, diagrams, and other visual tools can help clarify the situation and organize thoughts, making it easier for both partners to grasp key points. Similarly, writing letters provides a structured and thoughtful way to express feelings and emotions during conflicts. By putting thoughts into writing, individuals can carefully craft and convey their perspectives without interruptions and distractions. These techniques offer a unique approach to communication, fostering deeper understanding and facilitating constructive dialogue even in challenging situations. 5. Using I statements. Studies show that using I statements rather than you statements during conflicts can significantly foster a more positive, calm, and diplomatic communication style, which is crucial for resolving issues effectively. Expressing thoughts in terms of personal feelings and experiences, rather than assigning blame with you statements, can lead to greater understanding and empathy. This approach helps prevent the other person from feeling attacked and becoming defensive. For example, saying, I feel frustrated when this happens, instead of, you always make me angry, shifts the focus from blaming the partner to sharing one's own emotions. This method encourages a collaborative problem-solving environment where both partners feel heard and respected, ultimately strengthening their bond. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.